other advantages or perceived advantages, and you can always have the flip, is that at a convertible promissory note round, it's a very early stage, it's very light. Investors don't ask for a lot of rights. They certainly don't ask for board rights. They don't, you know, they may ask for limited information rights, they may ask for the right to, to participate in the next round, but it's not often, and the company definitely gets to control those terms. As soon as you get into this concept of, of a preferred equity that's being issued, the investors, uh, first of all, it's, it's typically with a much higher investment amount, but the investors start to negotiate more rights. There's board rights, there's protective provisions, there's liquidation preferences. Um, all of those things come into play, it becomes a more complicated round, and then what you find is, is that the company is now, is now um, a little bit more under control at a very early stage with in investor oversight. Now that could be a great thing, but a lot of founders want a little bit more of a leeway at the beginning to actually sort of, you know, idea eight before they get board involvement on, on, other, on, on other stuff.